Hi everyone, it's Rob again. Today I'm just going to do a quick run through on how to change the settings, or do the basic settings anyway, on your Texas Instruments BA2 Plus calculator. Something you want to do before you get going and doing any sort of finance calculations or statistical calculations or anything else like that. Okay, when we first get our calculators, they're typically set up um, with two decimal places. And if you turn it on, you'll see 0, 0.00. If I was to go uh, 2 uh, divided by 4, you get 0 0.50. I get an extra 0 on the end there. I really only just need the 0 0.5, but it gives me two decimals. Same thing if I go 2 divided by 3, that's a repeating number, isn't it? That's going to be 0 0.66666, you know, etc. But if I do it this way, it rounds it to two decimal places, gives me 0.67. That may or may not be okay. Uh, often we find we want to see more decimals in our course in particular, and so that we can go in and change those number of decimals. So to do that, I'm going to press second, and then down at the bottom, behind the period key, it says format. Press that. And the very first thing that comes up, it says, how many decimals do you want to set it to? And it's got two as a setting. I'm going to change that. I can change it from 0 to 8, because I can display up to 8 on my calculator. I'm going to change it to 9, though. 9 tells the calculator that you want it to be floating, so you want as many decimals as needed, or at least as many as it can fit on the screen. So for a short decimal like 0.5, that's all it'll show, but for something that goes on and on, it'll show all those decimals. So right now I press the 9, it says decimal 9. To make that set, though, I have to press the Enter key. That's up near the top. You can see a little equal sign showed up, and now it's got 9. Let's scroll down a few. There's other settings we can set under this Format button. To, to scroll up and down, we use the up and down arrow keys in the top row. I'm going to press down once, twice, three times, and four times. And now it says chain on most calculators. Yours may say AOS, and that's okay. If it does, you're already set up in the right mode. Those are the two choices we have for how the calculator is going to look at a long expression and evaluate it. Chain means just take it in the order it comes. So if you see 2 plus 3 times 5, well, normally with Bedmas, we'd do the 3 times 5 first, wouldn't we? That'd be 15, and then we'd add the 2, that'd be 17. But if we do it in the order it comes, 2 plus 3, that's 5, times 5 is 25. That would be the wrong answer. So we don't want it in chain mode. We want to change that. We can toggle between things on our calculator using the Set button. That's in behind the Enter key. So you go Second, Set, and it switches it to AOS. If you want to put it back for some reason, you go Second, Set again, back to Chain Mode, Second, Set, AOS. AOS stands for Algebraic Operating System. That's the same thing as Bedmas. Once we've got those two things, we can just press the Clear button twice. We come back out. You notice the display now it doesn't show any extra decimals, but if I go 2 divided by 4, I get 0.5. I go 2 divided by 3. I get lots of decimals, 0 0.66666667. And so that gives me as many as a calculator can show in the display. Those two things are uh, critical before we get going. Going to save you a lot of grief down the road. So make sure you've got your calculator set up before you do anything else in the course. And that's it for now. Well, that's it for now. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, go ahead and hit like and let me know. You might also want to subscribe while you're at it, and that way you'll get notifications whenever I post anything new. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.